Dude, right in front of the freaking boat. Ooh, that should count just because it was so freaking cool. Dude, back to back cast. Cannot make this up. All right, guys and gals, do y'all remember that badass speckled trout top water bite that I got on? Well, we're gonna do it again today, but I don't have a lot of time. We just need to get there. Time is of the essence, and I'll see you at the first fishing spot. Boom, and we're here. And I have the uh, complimentary boat here. It was quite the run getting here. I got here with a quickness. And uh, for some reason, there's, I'm like just, I'm the only guy out here. There's a lot of rain forecasted for today, so I think that's gonna keep people away, and I'm hoping it also keeps the sun away too. We get that good overcast weather all day long. Very good for a topwater bite, but let's get that trolling motor in the water. Let's get that bait out there. The topwater I'm fishing today is an evergreen shower blow. This is their 125. 125 meaning it's 125 millimeters long. This bad boy weighs a little over an ounce and will cast a country mile. Now recall that today's mission is to catch a biggin. And that's a speckled trout over 20 inches. We are catching and releasing, and we're gonna fish mostly top water because it's awesome, but also because that's what works best here. And, it, and I know it works best here because I was here yesterday catching them on that. And it's not so much that I didn't try other lures, I did try other lures. But what made this work so well is that the water here is shallow. It's like a foot and a half, two foot deep, and there's a lot of grass, there's a grass mat. Honestly, this sets up more like a redfish pond more than it does anything for speckled trout, but they're here. Oh, got to blow up. But she, she missed it, so I'm just going to keep working it. You, you have got to find out in that split of a split second if that fish has that bait or not. And if she doesn't, then you just got to keep working it. Let her get even more mad at it and commit to it further. But I don't think she felt those hooks, so I'm just gonna cast right back out. There we go. Man, that didn't take long. I haven't really seen how big she is yet, so I just wanna take it easy on her. Okay, she's not huge, but she is a nice trout. Skunks out of the boat, baby. Top water speckled trout for days, baby. Look at that top water speckled trout. Back in the water you go, girl. Speckled trout number one. All right, let's do that again. And again and again and again, and hopefully there'll just be a big hammer mixed in there somewhere. But you see what I was talking about when they blow up on the bait and they miss it? Just keep working it. And even if they don't get it, then cast back out and you might get them on the repeat cast. Man, that sun's coming. Sun, please do not come out today. Come on, man. It's forecasted to rain almost all day, or at least in the morning, and we're not getting it. Well, I'm fine with not getting rain. I just like to have the overcast weather. If that sun comes out and this top water bite dies, then I'll just have to find some other way to catch these fish. There we go. Oh, man, she missed it. Dude, these speckled trout need to get their eyes checked. Yeah, I can't have any green on that hook. They don't eat salad. Way out there. Oh, it's not, not, not that big of a fish, but it, I mean, I'll take it. Wham. More topwater speckled trout. Put you back into the water, bud. Here you go, go get bigger. Thank you. Speckle trout number two. All right, let's get this bait right back out there. I really don't like this sun, man. And there's some, there's a big storm right out that way, but it's just, it's just so far away that it's just underneath the sun. I would really like for it to be overcast and remain cool all day like it did yesterday. But if it gets really hot and still, kind of like the way it's getting right now, I just don't see the speckled trout biting here like what they did yesterday. I just don't see the bite being awesome. But that can change. 
the no marine forecast said that it's supposed to storm later in the day like anytime they say storms are likely that that means it's gonna it means likely it means it's gonna happen if they ever say chance or slight chance it it could happen probably not so yeah i'm kind of asking for rain here Dude, it is hot and the wind is not blowing at all. There he is. Got, oh, freaking. Oh, Sometimes you'll notice that the top water just stops swimming the way that it should. And it's probably because there's grass on it. There's a freaking shark right there. Oh well, I, I'm tempted to sight cast him, but I'm just gonna keep fishing. There he is, he's back. He's coming for, oh my God, he's literally right there. He's looking at, he's coming up to it, but he saw me. I hope that's on camera. That was neat. That falls in the category of like, there's cool things you see out in nature that are just like cool to see. But what would be cool to see would be a 30 inch trout. Oh. Whatever hit that thing, it displaced a lot of water. Just loosening this drag. Trying to keep this, whatever it is, pinned. It's a freaking redfish. You just ruined my day, bud. I thought it was the stud hammer of stud hammers. I thought that was the one, the way it came out the water. And that's because it's a freaking redfish. All right, buddy, come on. Let's get this over with. Let's get you in the boat. When I saw this guy come out the water, when I saw this redfish come out the water, and I didn't know it was a redfish, I thought it was a freaking trout, I thought, this is it. This is it. It was not it. All right. Nice redfish on top water, but this isn't what we're looking for. We want a speckled trout this size. Or even just a limit of like, you know, nice, decent speckled trout. I'll, I'll take that. All right, buddy, back in the water you go. Awesome. Listen, I catch a lot of flack for using this net, but the reason I use this net is because it doesn't fly out the boat. All the other ones have, or they just suck. There's a sharker, there he is right there. You were looking at that top water, weren't you? Listen, dude, if you want to help me make a cool YouTube video, I'll put you back in the water. That's my promise. Hey, mullet. What's up, dude? Man, I'm, I'm just going to go in and say it now. I think, I think this sun might be screwing up today's activity. Making these videos can be tough because I can think to myself, oh, well, today's video is going to be this thing, and then whatever the thing is doesn't turn out to be viable because nature has other plans. Dude, that's what I get for talking into the camera and not watching my freaking top water. That thing just got pee out. All right, I'm gonna throw a double rig around. I'm throwing this on the premise that speckled trout just aren't biting at the surface, even though, I mean, it's like two foot deep here but they're just not gonna bite at the surface and maybe they want something that's just kind of bounced along the bottom. They're not looking up, they're looking in front of them and sideways. There we go. Oh shit. Oh wow, there she is. Bam. All right. That's a nice speckle trout that doesn't want to eat top water. But we'll take a, a uh, Matrix Shad and Shrimp Creole. Bam, there she is right there. Check that out. A speckled trout, number three, going back in the water. Y'all making it? Fine. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, dude, it, it was supposed to be like raining and 10 to 15 mile an hour. Now I'm sitting here sweating my ass off. It's sunny. <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's my good buddy, Captain Ty Hibbs, and uh, 
He's a fly fishing guide. He comes highly recommended. He's also really good at recording video and he shot fishing video for me before. He's very talented. Man, if something doesn't give here, like in the next couple casts, I'm just gonna leave. We are gonna bounce. It, it, I'm just not digging this. This is not the same conditions as yesterday. I would love for this to be a repeat of yesterday, but it just, it isn't happening. And I have to accept that. I think we gotta roll out. I have an idea as to where some speckled trout are at. I don't think we're gonna catch them on top water. I'm gonna go and catch them anyway on something. See you at the next spot. Oh my God. All right, first off, birds going crazy. And I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boats here. Sorry, let's get in here. Let's, 11 boats. Wow. My buddy Captain Adam is somewhere in there. I'm sure he's catching them. So let's get in here. I'm already seeing fish on the graph, oh my goodness. I would like to point something out real quick, and that is if you see the sky over here, it has become more overcast. So it figures when I leave the spot where I need it to be overcast, I get way over here where I don't need it to be overcast, and then it becomes overcast. That's, that's inshore fishing in a nutshell. Hey Brooks, you mind if I slip in where Justin's at? Yeah, not at all. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw it off the back and, and just, I just got the big one ounce Adamowski rig on here, man. Just throwing a heavy drop shot off the back of the boat. It's about as simple as it gets. And we'll do this until I get bored or it gets nice and overcast and then we'll go do top water. Get back to the top water stuff. There we go. Ooh, uh oh, feels like a catfish. Hey Adam, how many sail cats have you caught? No sail cats. What? the heck? Got a croaker. Lots of croaker, Joe. Lots of, apparently. Adam, are you about to roll out? Yeah, same here, dude. I, I just should have stayed there and ate a sandwich and not moved. Dude, your film rig you got there yeah, man, that's, awesome. that's cool. That's yeah. It's just a couple GoPros. It's not, I appreciate it, but let me see this. <laughs> God. I don't even know how many in there. Holy shit. Hang on. Can I, can I tape that real quick? Yeah. All right, let's see what you got. <laughs> oh goodness gracious that's that's hey guys that's that's uh not bad awesome. y'all did it awesome. all right well uh y'all have fun drinking beers and cleaning fish <laughs> right. you're gonna be doing a lot of that yep. i'm also not gonna be drinking beers but i will be resuming the grind y'all yes, take care have a good one All right, so here's the deal. Right now it's shaping up to be like what it was yesterday. So I'm really kicking myself in the ass right now because I wish I just stayed here and ate a sandwich and like shot a time lapse or something. And then just, I mean, I probably would have caught some more trout, you know, in that amount of time. Or maybe I'll whack them here, or maybe it'll get sunny again and I won't catch any at all. I mean, I don't know, but I'm gonna try. So on my way here, I listened to some earth, wind and fire. And I am pumped, I am ready to catch a speckled trout. There we go. Man, just like the guys, I'm telling you that overcast weather is, is everything. It's everything. How much was I grinding with that sun out and not catching anything that I pull up here and, and just a, a, a few casts in, get a blow up, get multiple blow ups, and then finally hook up with something. Bam, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. Why didn't I just stay here and eat a sandwich? Should have eaten a sandwich, man. There we go. Nice top water speckle trout, baby. All right, girl, back in the water you go. Thank you. Speckle trout number four. Dude. No, 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 no. Oh, son of a.
I got that. Dude, they're getting they're getting blown up over there too. There's there's trout everywhere in this bad boy. Oh man, she's not hanging on by much. Come on. Bam. Yeah. Oh man. Man, she was not hanging on by much. Nice. All right, in the water you go. Oh, swim, swim off, booger. There you go. That's speckled trout number five. <clears throat> oh. Right there in front of the boat. Nice. Man, she absolutely hammered that bait down. Come on, girl. Come on. Let's measure her real quick, like. And she's barely 17, not even 17 inches. So this trout is missing a few inches. And I thought we're gonna put her back in the water so she can grow bigger and we can catch her again. That's speckled trout number six. Now the freaking sun's coming out. Man, that sucks. That sucks so bad. I'm just gonna stay here and work it. If I have to cast a, a hundred times and don't catch anything, I'm all right with that. And I, I'm doing it hoping that it'll get overcast again. All right, I'm hooked up. She's way, way, way out there though, so going to take a minute to get her in. Come on girl, just come to the boat. Boom, all right. Another nice topwater speckled trout. Nice speckled trout, not a hammer 20 incher, not a hammer 27 inch speckled truth citation trout. We're working on it though. We're going to put her back in the water so she can grow bigger. There you go, girl. Thanks for the fight. Speckled trout number seven. As long as they keep biting like this, I'm, I'll be happy, I will be fine. came out the trout knocked the top water out of the water there we go come on stay buttoned up baby she's not really putting up much of a fight it's not it's not that big of a fish to begin with but it'll do. I'm fine with catching these right now. Oh yeah, throw that the guy saw me catch that trout. He's whipping it around like, oh yeah, I gotta get me some of that. Decent speckled trout. We are releasing speckled trout number eight. There you go. Please do not idle your big motor through here, you lazy. I didn't catch anything, so I'm gonna idle out. Yeah, I'm gonna get on plane on the fight. Man, we could be getting some good overcast weather here in a little bit, like hard overcast weather. I really hope so. It looks nice and dark over there. Ugh. 
There we go. Man, right there in front of the boat, too. He's throwing his double rig, trying to take advantage of like a sunny trout bite, if that makes sense. Dude, that's a nice speckled trout, too. Oh, I am totally 100% A-OK -okay with catching nice speckled trout on a double rig. If I had a 27-inch trout come on a double rig today, I'm all right with that because I picked it out. Nice speckled trout. You are speckled trout number nine. Let's get you back in the water. I never thought I'd be happy to hear thunder, but that storm, I don't, I don't want to get hit by a storm, but if it could just cover up the sun from a distance, throw some shade on this bad boy, that'd be nice. Sky is getting darker. I just got a kiss. Come on, commit to it. See if we can't get back on her. There's a shark, there's that shark right there. Uh oh, this is, I think the shark, I think the shark just murked the trout right in front of me. I don't know, I don't know what I saw. Right there, oh nice. Right in front of the boat, but she didn't, no crazy thwacks or anything, just mine. Not a big one, but a speckled trout. I am thankful for it. Decent trout. This is a good like keeper eating size one. This is speckled trout number 10. She goes back in the water. Bam. Dude, and this one she didn't cook. She didn't go wow it. She just sucked it down. It just disappeared. Yes. Decent trout. Going back in the water. This is speckled trout number 11. Boom, making it happen. This is not like a place I would ever really think to catch speckled trout. I would again, again, back to back cast. What the hell is going on? Oh, 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 she came off. Oh, oh, oh. It can just drive, just few things drive me crazier. But we're getting hit and we're getting bit. Just gotta keep on rolling, baby. Keep that bait out there. Guys, top water blows for days, but hookups not as many. Hit it. That little freak is always that crazy freak of a trout was hitting it right there. Unreal. It's like they like to hit it in front of the boat and mock me. Nice. Point. Not a not a stud, not a hammer, but I am happy to catch it. Bam. This is speckle trout number twelve. All right, bud, back in the water you go. 
I absolutely love picking apart and covering water with this top water, with this whole ride and reel combo. Because it can just cast a country mile, it just cuts through the wind, and when something hits it, it's freaking awesome. Nice. Man, she just, like, like the other one, just, just slurped it down. No crazy spectacular hit. Just slurped it down. It's not a big one. That might be the smallest one I caught all day. Let me tell y'all something. These Mustad triple grip hooks are bad to the bone and I am terrified of them. Speckled trout, 13. That means we're halfway there, baby. The hell was that? Well, there's something out here I just hit. I don't know what it is I hit. I have no idea at all, but there's something. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's like a concrete piling or something right there. Good. Is that what I think it is? How did I not see that? I don't know if that's an old benchmark or what that is. That it's underwater doesn't surprise me. So the, the weather continues to be annoying. If you look over here behind me, boom, we got a big storm right there. And then you look over this away, we got a big storm over there. And in between all of it, we have blue sky. But hopefully something works out where we get that good overcast weather. Cause it seems like every time it gets overcast and it stays overcast, we start catching more speckled trout. I'm still catching them here and there, but I want the hard overcast weather and I'm hoping, praying that I get it. That was awesome. It also seems like whenever the sun's out, if we do catch speckled trout, they are smaller. I've not had a single throwback all day, but they are smaller when the sun's out. That's what it seems like anyway. Speckled trout, 14. right in front of the freaking boat. Come on, girl, stay hooked up. She is not hanging on. She's barely hanging on, barely hanging on. Get her into the boat. That would, that's like the top water strike of the day, of the day right there. This fish came to the boat green as all get out. This is speckled trout 15. There you go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Unbelievable. Dude, is there like a school of them just hanging out in front of the boat? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Speckle trout 16. There you go. Dude, right in front of the freaking boat. Man. Ooh, that should count just because it was so freaking cool. That should count just because it was so cool. Dude, back to back cast. Cannot make this up. Unreal. Absolutely mind-boggling. This makes speckle trout number 17. Uh oh, there's a uh, frick. There's a bay boat with a T-top on it. 
Oh man. I don't know where the hell they came from, but they probably just saw me blast both those trout. Man, there we go. Boom. That's a decent topwater speckled trout. 18. There you go, buddy. Trout number 19, baby. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Way out there. Way out there. And it looks like a nice one, too. Whew. That's a nice topwater speckled trout. Number 20. Boop. Nice. We get to the boat. <laughs> Speckle trout 21. Thank you, girl. That fish is trying, trying like hell to get this bait and and not succeeding. Right there in front of the freaking boat, dude. That's, oh my gosh, she's barely, she's barely hooked. Barely hooked, barely hooked. Oh, <laughs> yeah, dude. Speckle trout catch of the year. That is the speckle trout catch of 2021 for me. <laughs> About busted. But I got her. This is speckle trout 2022. I mean, <laughs> to 22. I don't even know what I'm thinking right now. Get in the water. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah. Speckle trout 23. There you go. Come on, commit to it. Take it. Ooh, right there in front of the freaking boat, man. Come on, you little booger. Just commit to it. Got that one. Get in the boat. Get in the boat, you little badass. Speckle trout 24. Bam. Boop. We're doing it, we're getting it done. Back to back. I just caught a limited speckled trout on top water today, baby. If you'd like to learn more about how it is I do this, how I find fish, how I use advanced fishing techniques to catch them, then you need to check out my membership, LAFB Elite. You can find it at lafbelite.com or look for a link in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to know the next one goes live, then all you have to do is subscribe and ring that bell for all notifications. Thanks for watching and tight lines.